Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as The Thrifty Broad, and I don't know why I did an intro. Like, this is like one part of many parts to the same video. Maybe I'll use this for the intro. I don't know. Hello. So, today is Tuesday, the 7th of February of 2023 so I think I'm gonna start doing this a little bit every day and then you know put the weekend in there and then when I release on Tuesday it'll be like a whole week of uh work with me what sold and um I think that might be better because then it'll it'll be a long bigger con bigger content it'll be a longer content for those of you who really want like an hour and a half video to just work alongside of because my one I just uploaded today is like 35 minutes. And I feel like that's too short for a work with me. I mean, maybe not. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Anyway, today I have three sales going out for right this second. Um, the mail lady, her truck is right there. So I need to kind of beat her. Anyway, um, before she kind of, she goes away a little bit and then she walks back. So um, one thing sold after I turned off the video. Yeah, when you turn off the video, I would say the video recorder what am I 1990 no I turned off my phone anyway so it was these loft and Taylor women's blue five pocket button curvy skinny jeans size 18 they sold for $21 and uh after fees shipping um and yeah not my cog so I made $15 and 10 cents but my cog was like under two dollars for this one so now, and that one I already sent out. So now this one's interesting. So I was out doing errands yesterday and the person who bought this asked me, and she, and she asked me all the listings, so <laughs> you can see it. Um, basically she asked me if I knew if it was definitely a one X. I feel like my description was very self-explanatory. I'm wearing it and I say I'm a 1X or 2X in Torrid. Um, and it was a little bit tight on me. So that told me it was a 1X and not a 2X because a 2X would have fit me a little bit differently. Also, um, I put measurements in there. And so I was doing errands yesterday and I kind of just ignored that question. And then 42 minutes later, she sends me another message with this emoji, like look up. And at that point I'm like, no. I'm not answering this because I feel like that's aggressive. Um, people get time off. So I wasn't going to answer that question when I was out driving around and trying to do my own stuff. So anyway, um, and then she bought it. So when I got home, I was like, okay, I'll answer it. And then by then she had already bought it. I'm like, all right, that's cool. And then she sent me another message, asked me if I'm gonna mail it anytime soon. I said, yeah, I'm gonna mail it today. She said, thank you. Okay, so I'm hoping, hoping I get a good review out of this. I don't know, I have a funny feeling. Maybe I will. She's getting it for a friend. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I did not do, I did not um, print out my labels. Because why would I? And I'll tell you in a minute <laughs> what this really was. Once I print out my labels. Because, you know, if you watch my video, well, this will be next Tuesday from last week when you're watching this. Um, you know that I'm just, I'm not put together. I want to be, I want to be so bad. I'm just not. Okay. So my sales and I need to do action, download shipping labels, three labels. At least it's only three. I mean, not at least it's only three, but it's, you know, it's not that, it won't be that long. I go to my email and there you are. Print, print, print. I don't know why you have to go through three separate menus every time you want to print. Just, I hit print. Why does another box have to pop up for me to click print again? And then yet another box has to pop up for me to hit print again. I don't understand that. Like I remember when I first got a printer that was sometime in the 90s because I've had it I've had a computer since uh, for most of my life which is kind of amazing because we grew up poor my mom needed it for work so 
we got our first computer in 1986 and I remember playing Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It was a text-based game. I loved that game. Loved it. Did not beat it though, but I did love it. So who are you? Who is this person? Okay. There they are. Hopefully. Okay. Just checking if her truck is still there. Who are truck moves? I have limited amount of time. Anyway, so um this was a torrid women's mint green 100 percent rayon cap sleeve floral chalice skater dress and i said size 1x in there i said there is no size tag you can see that in my listing and and i gave all the explanations you know so oh yeah and i should tell you that i had sent out an offer for 20 dollars at least my bot did so it sold for 20 dollars with four dollars off and or four dollars not four dollars off $4 was Poshmark's fees, uh, $268 were the, you know, fees for shipping. So I made $13.32, which I really made like $11, which is fine. It didn't have a size in it. And I didn't even realize it until I got home. I just thought the dress was pretty. So yeah, it happens. Carhartt men's gray ripstop carpenter work pockets, utility grunge pants, $42.34, which, okay, this one also has a little bit of a funny thing. Okay. I think most guys know what, how to read the tag, right? 42 is always the waist or the first number is always the waist and the other number is always the inseam. And this guy's like, is the waist 34 or, oh, oh yeah, I see why he asked that. I made a mistake in the listing. He was clarifying. I was dumb. Okay. So. He wasn't dumb. I was dumb. All right. Well, at least it was my fault. And I did clarify it in a comment um, after I looked at the thing again because I, it got listed as waist 34. It's not. It's waist 42. So, yeah. Okay. Oops. <laughs> That's why it was clarifying it. Okay. So, it sold for $25 um, after fees and all that. I made 20 Really, I made like 18 So, let's move on. God, I hate it when I'm making mistakes like that. I mean, we all do. We all make mistakes, so it's it's inevitable. If you sell for if you sell enough, you're gonna make some mistakes. Everyone does. Hold on. Ooh, will this fit in here? Why well, need to use a bigger one? Mm, no, I think it's gonna fit. Let's just do this. Yeah, I didn't catch that I made that mistake. So, oops, that's why they weren't selling probably. Okay. Let's make sure that I did answer him correctly. Yeah. Because the tag says 42.34. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says it's always 42 or 34. I'm like, it's 42. There's always 34 is the inseam. Okay, yeah. I didn't catch that I messed up. I wish, I mean, sometimes I tell you that you messed up. Like, you have this as the waist in the listing. And, yeah. But, you know, it's not their job to point out your mistakes, really. Okay. So, that's off. And then the last one. Let me go back. Yeah, I marked this as shipped. Oh, I didn't mark the other one as shipped. I need to do that. Let me do that right now. Shipped. Okay, and this last one was actually really surprising. So it is these Ann Taylor, their new tag, um, Ann Taylor Women's The Straight. Oh, of course, I went inside of it, and so it abbreviates the, the title. Ann Taylor Women's The Straight in Classic Midi Rise Office Career Pants, plus size 14. These were purchased for $54 on Poshmark. These are all Poshmark. I had no eBay sales after I it, threw out the, oh my God. I had no eBay sales after I shipped what I shipped uh, on Tuesday. So on Monday, this is today's Tuesday. It's confusing. <laughs> okay, so price was $54, Poshmark fees $10.80. So I made $43.20. So really I make a $41 profit off of Ann Taylor. New tag. I got them at the bins. I love it when everyone goes, you know, doesn't get them. Oh, I was about to put this on this. Okay. Let's back up and actually put it in a poly mailer. Although I did come across somebody's post uh, yesterday. 
yeah, last night where it looked like they sent it in a like in a bag, like they a bag they had like tortillas in or something like that. I don't I don't know what was in it. I couldn't remember what it was, but you know, it's like that they just kind of put some tape around it, put the label on it, and the lady's like, This was so flimsy. Like it got to her okay, but it was like the the packaging was so flimsy. She's a she's surprised it didn't like burst open on its way and get lost. So, so don't, um, don't use like bread bags. I mean, yeah, don't use bread bags or whatever plastic bag you have that came, that you got something you consumed in because that's weird. <laughs> Just don't do that. Anyway, so, okay, well, that's it for right now. I'll be back probably another day with different clothes on, hopefully. <laughs> I printed out my, um, Poshmark. This is stuff that sold. Tuesday evening to now, which is at two, Wednesday afternoon. It's like 2.26 in the afternoon. I'm gonna put these sales together, put them in the car, take them to the post office, go to the gym. I don't like the gym, but I, well actually, I'm not gonna go to the gym because it's nice out. I'm gonna walk outside. I'd rather walk outside than walk on a treadmill. I really don't like walking on treadmills, but I will because it, if it's raining. And yesterday it was raining cats and dogs. Okay, so oh, why did I do that? Why did I go away from that? Okay, so we're going to go to eBay first and we're going to do those sales first. All right. Ooh, I got another feedback. I'll read that later. Okay, so I got six to ship and like four on Poshmark. So 10 sales between last night and today. So that's not bad. And some, some of them are pretty good. So this is one of them. So I will unfold it. It is the, um, black tag by, uh, Zara man. I I've had not had this for very long, but you know, the cops were kind of like all over the place. I don't think it had a high sell through rate. Someone offered me um, the $20 on eBay. I accepted it. Um, plus I had $14 shipping attached to it. So they paid for that as well. But I don't know if it will actually take $14. So let's look at that. So um, where is this gonna be going? It's gonna go to Wichita, Kansas. So I bet money it will <laughs> take $14. We'll see. I don't know how, how much it will actually weigh. I know it's over two pounds. Oh, but I might be able to get it into a padded flat rate. Do you think? Let's see. Can I? Let's see. I think I'll be able to. Ooh, that will be kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to put it here first. Or maybe I should put no. No, no, no. Got real close there for a minute. Okay, I'll put it in this first. Okay, where's my garbage? It's down there. Okay. I do have. Oh, yeah, I'm fitting the sucker in there. Oh, or am I? Oh yeah, good room. Good room. It's in a pad of flat rate. Okay. And I won't be giving back the difference because when people make an offer, they're making the offer with that shipping in mind. So they've already like, all right, I'll pay $34 for this. And that's how much you paid for it. So if I can ship it cheaper, then I'm keeping the extra money because I did not want to sell it for $20. But I'm like, you know, let's see. And that just makes it a lot better for me. So, yay. Oof, oh my God, <laughs> slipped off my chair. Okay, so 8.30 is that. So let me... Open another eBay tab so I can figure out what the fees were for that guy. I can tell you how much I made from it. Okay. Then, of course, there was promoted listing. Of course there was. Why wouldn't there be? 
Okay, so 425 plus 256. So my fees are 681. So I made a profit of $17.03. And that's what I'm going with. Okay, and I'm just going to buy this label. I never had bad feedback because they felt they paid too much in shipping. So, if that's a worry for some people, it's not a worry for me. You know, but everyone does it differently. And, you know, you do what you feel is right. You know, that's that's what we all have to do. So. Okay. So, the next eBay order is... Is this an eBay? Yes. Um, this does not sell for a lot, but that's okay. It's poetry. I, I literally just got it not that long ago. Uh, poetry, women's blue, 100% linen, round neck, long sleeve pullover sweater. It's a size 10. Sold for $21.73. That's with the shipping, of course. Um, on eBay, of course. So I think the shipping is going to be six eighty six seventy eight. And fees were 281. Yes, because it didn't have any promoted. It was an organic sale. So I made a profit of $10.38. I know I just listed this not too long ago. And I don't think poetry necessarily goes for a whole lot. So we'll find. I mean that we'll find out. I didn't really think you stick around that one. I should have, but I didn't. It's okay. I'll put it on this one. Um Okay. How much do you actually weigh though? Okay, so 13 ounces. Okay. So it might be a bit cheaper. That would that be great? Fantastic, it's a bit cheaper. Oh, and I want the record to reflect that my hair was down before I recorded this video. <laughs> and then I had to search every damn bin I had, which is a lot for something. I found it, but I had to search for it. So I got hot and sweaty and I'm like, of course, of course. So I got my workout really downstairs in my basement. <sighs> anyway, so it's not one pound. It's oh, I think it'll be the same though. It won't. It won't matter. Thirteen ounces is the same as one pound. Okay, so yeah. I don't know why I thought it'd be different. I have no idea. Okay, purchase. You can do it. Put those down there. Well, put them in my whole kit when I'm done. But um, this is a Tadashi Sojin. Soji. Uh, let me find it. I can tell you. Yeah, this was a Tadashi Soji floral lace cocktail dress, size six, style 3K 918M. It sold for $72.22 on eBay. Uh, $6.78 will be the shipping. $12.24 was the fees. So, I might just put this in a padded flat rate, to be honest. Um, just so it gets there faster and has more insurance. Because the insurance on... Uh, the insurance on regular... Oh, my God my brain first class the insurance on first class is $50 the insurance on uh the base insurance for priority is a hundred and if you want more than that then you have to pay for it which if you're sending something expensive always insure it always insure it to its value because if you send something that um was like $250 
and you send it at a padded flat rate and it gets lost or whatever, um, they're only give you up to a hundred dollars. So it's 14 ounces, but you know what? I think I am, they spent enough on it that I just think I'll upgrade the shipping a little bit just to protect myself and give it extra insurance. It's only like a couple, it's only like a dollar extra, but I think it'll be worth it in this, in this case. And I need to buy, oh my God. Oh. My eBay tape way over there. Why, why was it over there? So, okay, so we're gonna mark that as 8.30. So I will tell you which my, how much I made, because I don't think I told you that. So I made $49.90, because I got this at the bin. It was like laying on top of a bin. It was, I got it a while ago now, back in November, I got this dress. It was just laying on top of a bin. It was actually in the shoe bin. No, it wasn't a shoe bin. It was just laying on top of a, a bin. Someone had put it back. And I'm like, why would you put that back? I mean, maybe it didn't have a high sell through rate, but it'll sell for a little bit. Like I got a $49 profit. I'm happy with that, you know? That's weird to me. But I mean, it only took a couple months to sell. Like maybe three, three and a half. I'm okay holding on to something for three and a half months if it's gonna make me a $50 profit. Hell yeah. Oh, and this top, that, this top is like a topper and it is 100% from the 80s. And I decided I wanted it, so I'm gonna wear it for a while and then I'll put it for sale. But maybe when I'm done wearing it. But for right now, I'm gonna wear it because I think it's, I don't know, it's really cute. I did have these down and I'm like, my arms are not that long. My arms are actually pretty short because I'm pretty short. So yeah, but okay. So let me print this. I'm going to upgrade the shipping. Hopefully your sales are doing good. I mean, yeah, sales are actually bouncing back for me. So I'm really happy. I mean, they didn't really go that low, but there was a spot for like a week. It was a little bit sparse, um, sparser than it had been. What are you, you're the faux leggings. Faux leggings, no, they're real leggings. They're just faux leather. <laughs> but I think these are the ones, no, these are the ones also on eBay, okay. So, these are women's black, polyester, spandex, stretch rocker, bad girl, faux leather pants, XXL. Um, so I modeled these, which you will see. And they sold for $22 and well, that's including the thing, but let me tell you how much I got. Okay, so it sold for $20.99, and that includes the shipping. $268 was the fee, but did I put that in here? Let me. Oh, I did. I had to find it again. There they are. Okay. It took a couple, couple months for it to sell as well. But I mean, literally picked it up from the bins. It's only been like three months. So um, 660 should be the shipping. So I made a profit of $9.55. I'm okay with that. I mean, ideally we all wanna make more than that, but I mean, profit's profit, right? So this is 10 ounces. So I actually think it'll cost me less to send it than I thought. So I'll make more money. Love that for myself. Okay, then I'll tell you the new. Yeah, 517. So I made $10.98. Yay. Okay, let's purchase that. And print.
All right, this is a, uh, this is a, what do you call it? An unbranded red and black floral scarf. That's all it was. It was pretty, so I picked it up. Um, it sold for $17.99. That's with the, um, that's with shipping. So let me put, I did not fill up the rest of this. Okay, so fees are $2.24. Can't use two periods because Excel and Google Sheets do not like that. Let's ship this order and find out how much the shipping will be. Okay. Another eBay. No, not the big one. No, no, no. Gotta get some small ones. Because big one. <laughs> no thanks. Uh, here's some more. Okay. These ones are green. It feels kind of like spring outside right now. I mean, it's only 46 degrees, so it's still cold. Um, cold dish. But it's not as cold as it had been a few weeks ago. But it was weird. I went to, I live in North Everett. I went to South Everett to the gym. And then when I was coming back, Central Everett got hail. So much hail that it covered all the streets and all the sides and all the side roads and stuff. But then when I got closer to North Everett, it was gone. It was like just... A big old like thundercloud or whatever it was over Central Everett. I thought that was really funny, but whatever. So this is 3.2 ounces. So four ounces. I said eight. So four. Uh, four puts it down to three dollars and sixty-six cents. So it's just going to Oregon. So I made a profit of ten dollars and nine cents. That makes me happy. It's going to Bend, Oregon. I've been there before. Not for a long time though. It would be fun to go down to Oregon again soon. Last time we were at Oregon was our 10th wedding anniversary and in November it'll be our 12th. So. 12 years went a lot, went really fast. Okay, so the next is um, these Talbots. Um, was that here? Nope, that was still eBay. Okay, yeah, so Talbots Women's Blue Cotton Blend five button five pockets, cuff jeans, uh, jean shorts, size six. Um, I literally just listed them a few days ago. So they sold for $26.98. And um, I think $6.78 will be the shipping. $5.44 is the fee. So I made a profit of $13, which is great because I literally got them not that long ago. I literally, it was like three days ago, maybe two days ago that I listed them and they already sold. So I'm happy to make a quick $13 um, quick flip. Yeah, I mean, I used to do the really quick flip model, and then I was like, oh, I want more money. And then I was like, no, I think I need to go back to a, a, you know. Well, I don't think I ever really left the quick flip model, but I think I lost my way a little bit. So I dropped a bunch of my prices again, and I'm going to be going towards that again and making, um, well, accepting even lower offers. I mean, not like $5. <laughs> I'm not accepting that, just so you know. So if you're going to send me a $5 offer, I'm either going to decline it or I'm going to send a, um, it's 14 ounces, um, uh, what do you call it? A counter. Anyway, um, where am I at? I am buying a label for these Talbots, uh, jean shorts. So I'm really excited that they sold so quickly. So if you're passing up Talbots, small jean shorts, um, you know, if they're for the right price, they'll go like that. And that's the thing. If you can't find a bunch of inventory that has a really high sell through rate and not everyone does, I necessarily don't have the patience, although I am going to try harder at that going forward. But I mean, it's things like this. I'm pretty sure the sell through rate on eBay was terrible for this, but at the right price, it went right away. So, you know, and right now I'm running 
uh, a sale. I'm actually running a 30% off sale right now on eBay. I'm so tired. I shouldn't be though. Well, actually, yeah, I woke up at five, I woke up at six, and then I ended up getting up at 6.15 because I couldn't sleep anymore. And I went to bed at 11 again. So yeah, yeah, it sucks sometimes. Anyway, okay, so this one, I was really excited about this. Uh, it's LuLaRoe. I had literally just relisted it and it sold instantly. Um, cause that is dead. We are done with eBay and now we're moving on to my car, not Macari. Wow. We're moving on to, um, uh, what do you call it? Poshmark. That's what you call it. Okay. Oh, I didn't pull one because I'm not with it. Okay. I have to go pull one. So, but I'll, we'll do this and I'll go pull it last. Okay, so this is Anthropology. No, it's not. It's <laughs> LuLaRoe. LuLaRoe, remember that one? From a, a women's extra small rose embroidered distress trucker jacket. It sold for $29, just straight out. No offer to likers. It was an offer to me. And so I'm um, after the fees. <gasps> oh my God, why? After the fees, I made $23.20. That doesn't remove my cost of goods, but it was like $2. Um, did I put it over here already? I did. So yeah, I made twenty-one dollars and twenty cents. My cost of goods was literally two dollars. Okay, so we're done with eBay. Go to the other pretty one. Go to the. This is what you've been waiting for. And you know, when I saw that the bin, I mean, I had it up there for fifty dollars because I wasn't sure how how it would sell. I mean, if it was a bigger size, I bet money I probably could have got more money for it. But because it's an extra small, it's a it's a saturated market. I have to deal with for that. Well, not necessarily. I don't think a lot of people pick up Lola Row. Anyway, um, it was at the bins, and I, um, you know, if I look at if I think it looks cute, because it doesn't look like Lula Row on the outside, and it looks adorable, so I bought it. So this one. I was prepared today. Okay. Okay. And the next one is this Meryl. Put a fur on it. Not fur, but a little like fuzz. I am going to put. It's not holding. Okay. This is a Merrill sweater. It did not do well. Merrill Women's Brown Wool Blend Long Sleeve Pullover Turtleneck Sweater. Um, it sold for $25. And so I made $18 um, profit, which was great. And I got, obviously, I got it at the bin. I got everything at the bin. Okay, this, we'll need to go in this one. Okay, oh my God. Okay. Need to order more of this size one. This size, which is, I have no idea what size that is. I think it's like 18 by 15 or something like that. 18 by 12. Anyway, so... That's you. And this one, which I was really excited for, this came in today. And, oh, God. Okay, I'm going to tell you a funny story about this one. I, I took it out of where it was at. Um, you know, and then forgot that I already took it out and put it in my whole end to bring upstairs. And then I proceeded to search through all my inventory again for this. And then I got upstairs. I'm like, I don't know where this is. This is a $70 sale. I do not want to cancel it. I'm on Poshmark. And then I'm emptying the Hulk in. And it was in there. It was in there the whole time. So I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> 
I mean, uh, yeah. So yeah, I need to kind of go through and make sure everything's inventory correctly now, which is fun. But you know, I, I didn't finish from before. So really it'd be good to do it again and just make sure everything, and I actually have different ideas of how I want to inventory some things uh, differently. So yeah, maybe I'll do a work with me uh, down there and bring my iPad so I can like figure out where I'm putting things. It's a bigger, you know, thing anyway. And then I can make a video letting you watch me re-inventory stuff, which, wow. I mean, if that's what you're watching, <laughs> paint drying might be more entertaining. I don't know. People, I do enjoy, I enjoy watching those videos myself, so I understand why people enjoy them. Anyway, so like I said, the sold for $70. Um, it was an offer to me, so I accepted it. Um, $14 in shipping, so I made $54.21. And I got this in December, so it's only been two months, two months and two days. So nice, nice profit for two months and two days. Okay, so this one is, okay, now I will be right back. Oh, I might as well put them on here. Okay, I'll be right back in a second. I'll be right back. So, this last piece is Anthropology Western Wear Large Metallic Polka Dot Tool Skirt. So, you know, metallics are in, polka dots are in. So, this thing had all the things. in there and ship you off okay uh oh I hate it when it wrinkles the oh no oh, don't make me reprint this I hate it when it wrinkles the barcode there we go no reprinting required and that's it for this segment <laughs> So today is Thursday the 9th, and so I'm packaging a few things. Um, this one is, so this is Jewel, uh, the vintage um, Wilson's leather. It's a leather jacket, still has the insert, um, and it's an extra large. It sold, it sold like a day ago, but it, the guy paid today. Um, and so, I'm sending out. He offered me uh, $75 plus um, $14 shipping. So I accepted that because, you know, let's move this stuff out. And um, yeah, this needs a new home. So yeah, I'm happy about that. I need to put this in a, where did I put them? Yeah, okay. So I don't know where this is going. So I need to open my eBay, I'm trying to beat the mail lady as well. Cause she's, I can see her on the street. And if I put the packages out before she drives past, even though I didn't put it in a pickup request, she'll come back and pick them up. Even if I don't have mail. So I'd rather not have to go to the post office. Okay. Oof. I'm 100% sure I'm going to have to put this in a medium flat rate. 100%. Okay. Because yeah, this is going to weigh like a gazillion pounds. I mean, not really a gazillion. But, you know. Oof. Yeah, almost five pounds. So, yeah. Flat rate it is, but I have my two options. I think this will be the best option, so I'm gonna put in this one. This is the box. It's number PS00011000001. And the other one just has a zero at the end. Same number though. Oh, come on. And these ones self seal, although I will put tape around it as well. Um, to kind of reinforce it 
because I don't think they're... <laughs> okay, so first, you need to secure the box. Okay. That's in there. Wishies would just come off in one fell swoop. Okay. And then I will reinforce the tape, like I said. I will go around this a few times. Because I know this, this eBay tape's a little flimsy, but it, it will do the job. So I know there's a lot of people out there that doesn't like it, and that's fine. They can, you know, use whatever. But I'm okay with it. So far, I'm only gonna go crazy with this one, so. Okay. Maybe I'm flat right, and let's print this bad boy out. This is going to New York. I sell a lot to New York. Yeah, if I just went regular priority, it would have been $20.96. But I got it to a flat rate medium box, which is normally what I can get most things into is a medium flat rate box. And that's why I use $14. I charge $14 for most of my heavier stuff. Heavier or bulkier, I will charge about $14 for it. No, I don't want it to save. I, I saved some of the PDF earlier, and so it wasn't on Dymo. I'm like, mm, no, I need this to print on the Dymo so it can go. Okay. All right. That's one. Woo, it's heavy. Ooh, okay, so this is a Poshmark one, but you didn't. I'm not prepared today for the Poshmark one, so let me just do that real quick. Um, I made a few sales, like a two, I think, <laughs> two or three, three, I think, actually, um, since yesterday. Uh, download shipping labels, yes. And one of them was I relist and it sold immediately, which is great. Actually, two of them are relist and they sold immediately. One sold the next day, one sold the same day. Okay. Okay, so this is a... Young and Reckless, it sold on Poshmark for $15, minus the $3. I paid less than $2 for it. Um, it's not a brand that I should have picked up. It's a brand that um, sells at PacSun, so it's not a real high-end brand of, of, in, in any way. However, okay. I need to get some mail stuff over here. <laughs> oh my God. I am just, tell ya. Some days I'm put together, which is kind of rare. And then other days I'm just a hot man. That's most days for me, I swear. And really, it's all subjective. I mean, to somebody else, I might seem more put together than they are. You know, we're all hard on ourselves. And honestly, adulting is just a bunch of people that don't really understand what's going on. <laughs> it's just, I feel like that's adulting in a nutshell. Okay. For the most part. I mean, some of us know more than others, obviously, but. Okay. Beat this male lady. She hasn't moved her truck yet. Okay, cool. Um, and who were you? I did a Poshmark. Um, okay. You're this person. Okay. And the next item is, this is the uh, Vintage Cache Women's 14 Black Polyester Rouge Bodycon Mini Dress. Um, if you didn't know, they uh, no longer uh, sell cache. So double check, this is the right one, right number, 1312, yep, okay. So, um, 
it sold for $52 with discounted shipping, the middle one. And so they got $4.99 shipping. So they paid a little under $60 for this dress. Um, after fees and all that, well, the fees were, uh, I make $38.92, not including, not including my cost of goods, but like I say, they're like $2. So they're pretty cheap. Um, yes. And then I gotta figure out who this is. Person. All right. Um, this is, okay. One of these is a like four part bundle from eBay, which I'm excited about. But not all of them. This is not. This is um, Poshmark. This is Mini Bowden. Um, let me mark this is shipped. Back to the orders. Mini Bowden Girls Yellow 100% Cotton Eyelet Summer Dress. I said Easter in there because, you know, I think it'd be a good Easter dress for some kid. Some little girl for five to six year olds. Super cute. And I, you know, I'm experimenting with pickup dresses and coats and stuff like that. Sometimes for kids. It depends. Not all of it. Not most of it. Just some of it. Um, so yeah, this was an offer to Likers. It was up there for 20. So it sold for $16 minus the fees and my discounted shipping. I took home $10.12. So really like $8 profit. Not bad. I'm happy with that. And she's the last one. Yes. Make sure. Okay. Then. Okay. That's Poshmark. Then I'm going to get a box because this is a multi bundle, but I am going to put it in one of these. So I'll put it in one of these first. And then we'll be putting it in a box, a priority box because it's going to need a box. Okay, so this one is Knox Rose. Uh, it's from 2019, and I did put that in the um, in the title, so people know it's somewhat current. You know, was it 2019? Now I go back to my thing, my lying. No, yeah, yeah, I was right. 2019, and then um, and it's a large. This is a One World Women's Large Petite. Um, uh, boho floor, floral keyhole three four sleeve blouse, and then she also got oh, these two items. Okay, getting off this chair. <laughs> this one is a Lucy Women's Large. I did put a asterisk on it because it wasn't exactly sure but i mean i'm pretty sure it's a large i did put a measurement so and then the last one is vintage new york and company woman's blue sepia wash y2k trucker jean jacket now um i will have to i'm, I'm gonna throw up because i'm gonna have to do some math and i don't want to do it right this second um, I'll throw up some, uh, um, what do you call it? Some math. What am I going to do? Oh, shit. Shit. I got to go quick. Okay. She just moved her thing. And I didn't have anything else there. So hopefully, hopefully I have mail. Because if I have mail, then she'll pick it up, obviously. If not, I have to go to the post office. We'll see. Actually, that is, that's not cute. Where's my string? I have string. I need to find my raffia. I used to have like cute pink raffia that I used to put on packages. I have no idea where it's at. But, okay. Well, clearly, I don't know why I did this, but this was a mistake. Okay. I'm going to get something else. Here's some elastic, some pink elastic that I can just put on the top. And then put it in a box. She usually goes up the street a bit and then walks down and delivers the mail. But she'll put the car near the bottom of the hill because I live at the bottom of a, a big hill. And uh, yeah. So, I think I'll 
get a large. Where did I put the large at? Oh, here's the large. Probably will need a large um, flat rate box. So I will use this. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see how much it would cost. Because I do have a big eBay bag I can put it in. Maybe that would be better. So it's four pounds. So, okay, let's combine shipping here and see how this goes. Okay, so this, this, and this. Can I just combine it? Combine it here? Or is it gonna have me purchase three separate, two separate ones? Three separate ones, because she, she did it in a weird way. Yeah. Okay, so I need to do one and then put the, uh, I'm gonna do the top one and put in the other two. Um, I'm just gonna be, it's the same person, but I'm gonna make sure it's going to the same place. I should make sure it's going to the same place. So, yeah. You can just look at that. Yes, it's going to a PO box, okay. PO box, okay, yeah. And a P.O. box. Okay, so it's going to the same place. So I'm just going to purchase the first one. And then, because I mean, some people will buy things separately just to have them sent somewhere else. But, okay, so I'm just going to buy it for the first one. And then I will put it in to the other two. So it's going to be three pounds. I think it was almost four, actually. So four pounds um regular priority would be twenty dollars so either way it's going to be twenty dollars so um i will just do a large flat rate box oh i wonder i could probably get this in a medium oh let's try that because that would be amazing mm, not that one though oh maybe not Okay, I think it's gonna have to be large. Never mind. Okay, large it is. It is pretty big. So we'll do that. Gotta stop waffling here. Yeah. Yeah, this would not have fit in the this would not have fit in the other one. So large flat rate it is. around the corner and I thought it was the male lady. It's us. Some guy is walking. Cool. So I'm going to go first. Okay. Cool. I'm going to go this way when I want. Just to make sure it doesn't come apart. Okay. So large flat rate box. Okay. So it's $18.95. Oh, that's nice. So it's not $20. And this flat rate, right? Yep. Okay. Perching large flat rate box. <sighs> Come on, you can do it. Okay. Print that. I'll link that in a second. I'm just going to print my last one and call it good. Maybe after I print these all, then I can actually, I'll, yeah, I'll do that. Once I print this and put that aside, I will add shit up for you. Okay. So. is Shaver Lake. It um, it has like pumpkins on it. It's really cute. Of course, I'll be popping up a picture. So back to your orders. Um, add tracking. Your tracking should be on there. go it's not a different buyer it's the same buyer it won't let me add the tracking what they're the same people they just made separate purchases
Um, okay, I'll figure that out in a second. Sorry. Okay, so this one is Vintage Shaver Lake Women's Large Fair Isle Pumpkin Fall Autumn Cardigan. Um, so it sold for $28 and 34 well, yeah, but it, with, with shipping now. Okay. So purchase shipping label. Let's do that real quick. Yeah. $8 and 30 cents in shipping. So I think this would fit into a padded flat rate if I had to put it in that. So I think it is over a pound. Let's do this quickly and then I can... Figure this shit out afterwards. <laughs> Once I get this out of the door. Last one. Come on. Fit in here. Yeah. Yep, it's over. We're putting it in here. We're calling it a day. I might have to call eBay and say, hey, I've already sent this all in one package. It's all to the same buyer. I don't know why they purchased it the way they did, but it's all the same address. So Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't didn't pick the right thing. That's okay. I'm just going to say, I just said it regular priority mail, not in a flip, padded flat rate. It just cost me 50 extra cents, 52 extra cents. No big deal. Okay. Putting this outside. I'll be right back. Okay. It's outside one box actually. So here we go. So now let's figure this shit out. <laughs> Why does he make this so hard? Oh, okay. I understand. It was the wrong one. I was linking. Okay. I was linking the wrong one. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. The one I was trying to link was for the leather jacket, not for this one. Okay. Okay. And not for that one either. Okay. So I need to go back to the middle one. There we go. It'll let me link this one. Okay. Okay. At first I was like, oh my God, why? Why? Okay. But since this is for the same lady, they let me do it. Okay, good, good, good. But that's nice that they, you try to add tracking for the wrong person and it's like, no, no, no. You've already added the tracking for a different person. So it won't let you do it. Okay. And then they're all shipped. Okay, let me see. I go to payments. Let's see how much she actually paid. She got a discount, I think, on all of it. So I it must have like counted it as because she did the buy one get buy two get one free. So one of these was like free to her, I thought. I don't know. I don't think she did it right. Cause I've seen people do the buy one, get one free, buy two, get one free before. And the other one, I can probably move closer now. Um, hello. Okay. And the other one, it was all together, but this one it's separate. I don't understand. I think she did it wrong. So let's see how much she paid in shipping all together. Okay. So on the Lucy, and I have to update my spreadsheet anyway, so I might as well do that while you're here. Okay, so, oh, I already did that. Okay, I didn't add, okay, but how much was the shipping again? God damn it. I need to go back here. Okay, so it was 18, um, no. Oh, 1895. Dear. Okay, so 1895 divided by four. 
is four dollars and thirty seventy three cents and seventy. Oh, sorry, four dollars and seventy seven seventy four cents. Wow. Okay, time to take a sip of coffee before it gets cold. Okay, so I need this to be over here. So four seventy. Four is the shipping for all of these. So let me update my spreadsheet. And then I'm gonna see how much she actually paid in shipping. And then I'm gonna refund her some because I think she paid way over. Okay, let's add it up. So on this one, okay, on this one she paid, 1931 plus 599 shipping and then she paid tax but i don't see the tax um so i made 2216 so add 599 plus um go back oh i see it's doing it a whole new thing anyway um, okay, so this one, the jacket, um, is a vintage New York and company women's blue sepia, you know, Y2K jacket. She paid $8.30 for shipping, $20 for the jacket. There's a discount of $6.43. So I think that it did discount. It must have discounted because there was a discount on the other one too. There just wasn't a discount on the that one because it's buy two, get one free. She bought four things. And so she was not going to get two things for free. That one just wouldn't have a discount. So this one did have a discount of $6.43. So, okay. So plus $8.30. That's fourteen twenty nine, okay, and then on the other thing that was two together, she paid eleven ninety eight in shipping. She did get a discount of twelve dollars and eighty eight cents, so it must have put it between two things. Yeah, because I think that's the price of one of them. Um, so. Eleven ninety-eight. So she paid twenty-six twenty-seven in shipping, and I paid eighteen ninety-five. So she paid seven dollars and thirty-two cents too much. So I did have to use tape and shipping supplies, and so I'm gonna charge two thirty-two and I'm gonna give her back five dollars for that because I do include. The shipping isn't only what I spend on shipping. The shipping is my supplies. And if I use tape and stuff like that, even if it's free, it's my, I, it's still, I, even though it was free to me, it wasn't like, it wasn't truly free. I got a $50 coupon through eBay because of my store that I pay $60 a month for. So truly I'm paying for it in the way. Um, and had I not, I would still have to pay for you know, poly mailers, boxes, even though those are free, but I did it to pay for other things. So I do put, I'm going to put a couple dollars on that for me. So I will give her back $5 and I will do that on the last item. So I will on the Lucy one that she paid. I'll just, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'll just refund the five ninety nine because that is what she paid for the last item. So I was able to put it all in the same box. So let me go to that order again. Is this where I can do the refund? Oh, I might not be able to do it yet. I can't, oh, I have to do it from the order page. Why do you still say awaiting shipment? I, I, Uploaded shipping. Add tracking number. Save and continue. I Means in there. Maybe it's just taking a minute for. Her. 
It might be just taking a minute. Um, send refund. Here we are. Shipping overage. I'm going to say shipping discount. Oh, she came back. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go catch her. So, cool, I caught her. So, I went out and I'm still refunding. <laughs> so I'll finish this refund of $5. Um, Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully if I go back to the hub, it'll show that I have nothing left to ship. And I have nothing left to ship. So cool. So, um, let me tell you, let me add it up how much I actually made. So, I did put the fees on there. There was no like added fees. There was no ad fees. And actually I'm, I'm tracking that separately in my spreadsheet now. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, but now I'm tracking it separately starting today. I might have to go back. I might go back and track all of um, January and the first part of February, just so I know how much I'm paying in those fees um, overall. I mean, even though eBay tells you, so it's not like you can't figure it out. So, um, after all the fees, um, and my cost of goods taken out, I made a total of, uh, $46 and 38 cents on those four items. So I'm okay. I mean, it's a little over, um, oh, actually not that much. Actually, it's going to be more like 41. So I made a $10 per item because I gave back five bucks. So I need to reflect that. There we go. Now it'll reflect that. Um, so I mean $41.38, that means it's $10 per item, which I don't mind. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Because if I'm making 10, I mean, none of them are gonna sell for a ton anyway. And I'm making $10 per item in profit. And I, got rid of four items at the same time. So I think that's a really good business model. I have a, the buy two, get one free. This is the second time someone's actually taken advantage of it. I, they gave her a discount. So there has to, they must've, the eBay system must've given, given her the equivalent of one for free, even though she bought it, it separately. Um, so yeah. And now you can, you can put it separately as well. I mean, you can add the tracking number. You can buy, if it happens to you, you can buy one and then you can put in the, the same tracking number. It has to be the, the right buyer though. Anyway, um, yeah. And then you can't change it because if you buy it through eBay, you can't change the tracking number. So make sure, and if it's the wrong one, it will tell you it's the wrong one and we'll let you add it. Um, but that's it. That's it for today. And uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> There'll be one for Friday. Okay, today is Friday. So we have a few sales on Poshmark and eBay. Oop, and I got a lot of stuff in my way. So, <laughs> make this work. All right, so, uh, of course, I was like, oh, I better print out the rest of my um, labels before I press record. And then I didn't because my brain can't handle more than one or two thoughts at the same time, it seems like these days. Whatever, okay, so we'll do that now. But I did print out one. I gotta figure out who that was. Is that you? 
Yes, okay, so I only printed out one. Let's, it's hot in here too. So I have the window open just a little bit, so hopefully it's not loud, but sometimes there's loud sirens, loud cars that go by. Okay, I'll do everything but those. Down load. Okay. Guess I now gotta open my Gmail. Oh, please don't run out. <laughs> I have more, but I really don't want to change them right now. I really just don't. Okay. And I didn't get one item. Pause. here for now but I gotta ship that too okay oh dear I'm tired I'm tired already and it's only 245 <sighs> yeah and I'm still using a Halloween mug I'll use it year-round <laughs> today I made uh, chocolate peppermint cream coffee with no sugar. Well, I use monk fruit sugar or swerve, which I don't think that is monk fruit, but I, you have either or. Anyway, so, all right, so I think I have everything that I need. Let's double check here. I got that, I got that, I got that. I love it when people put notes on eBay and they're like, make sure you put unit six or unit whatever it is. Uh, oh, I can say unit 606 because I'm not giving you the address. Um, but the thing is, it's on eBay or even on Poshmark. I can't change the address. I mean, I, I technically can on eBay, but don't. Don't ever change the address, not even the, if the customer asks you to, because if you do, you will lose your seller protections. So if they have the wrong address, the best thing to do at that point, and I double checked, she did have that in her, in her address. So, um, so they do have the wrong address or don't include something that, they say you need to cancel the order and have them repurchase it with the correct address. So again, let me reiterate for anyone that's new on eBay, do not change the sell the buyer's address even upon their request. eBay will not back you. If you do that, you will lose your protection. The, the buyer has to upload the correct address. So, and they, and if it's already been purchased, you have to cancel it and have them rebuy it under the correct address, just to make that crystal clear. Anyway, let's move on. So, okay, let's go. These are Lorito, uh, 4253 was a style name. They are men's, uh, they have really, they have good patina. Uh, oof. Oh yeah, if I don't show my face, it will, cause it wants to, you know, center on this beautiful face. I can't blame it. Anyway, so <laughs> has really cool um, embroidery. Anyway, so it sold for, okay, I'm sorry. They're men, browns, Paris, Cooper, or copper, not Cooper, copper, kettle, um, mid-calf Western cowboy boots. They're size 11 and D. And they were purchased for $64 with discounted shipping. Um, so after fees and the shipping, I made $48 and 52 cents and I paid $2 for these. So I am going to use these. So I like to stuff cowboy boots with these little air pillows. That way you don't use a lot of paper and you know, I get a ton of these anyway. So it's good to just reuse them. Some tissue paper for the outside though. 
that's not tissue paper. Let me grab that. Oh my god, I have so much stuff on here. Okay. <laughs> All right. I need to reorganize that part of my office. I need to reorganize reorganize my office. Period. But yeah. So I'm actually gonna put this bag. Oof. Slide in. Okay. That's a tray knock over there. Try not to look at it. I don't know if you can see it yet. No, you can't. That's okay. Okay, so I am going to move this aside. And I'm not like necessarily trying to wrap it pretty or anything. I'm just trying to protect the leather so it doesn't like rub it against each other. You know, that kind of thing. Even though it is distressed, but you don't want it to get some unintentional distressing from, you know, shipping. shipping. Plus, I mean, I think it's just, it's good to show that you care about this person's purchase, you know, since they did spend a certain amount of money and, you know, regardless if you think it's functional, I think it is. Okay, so there's one. We'll get the other and then we'll put it in a big plastic bag. That way it's protected from water and all that, even though they are leather. this um, big box that I have had for a while. I used to get my kitty litter in these boxes. So I'm going to put it like that. And I'm going to put the other one. Oh, you know what? I didn't put plastic around it. Oh, let's do that. Oh, goodness. I don't need like five bags. Just one. Thanks. Okay. I don't know if I need this one. <laughs> Maybe two. I'm recording, right? Yeah. Oh my god. I did one video for a little bit, not today, but it was a while ago, and I had to re-record because, well, it didn't actually record. Because I didn't actually press record. I just I pressed it, but maybe not hard enough. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. Okay, so put this in here like this. Now put the other one on the opposite way. Okay. I'm basically just going to tape this down. So it's not going to be watertight, but it'll at least protect them. Okay. And it did, you know... Fill the box pretty well. Um, I will take some of these, kind of fill in the gaps to kind of make it so it doesn't move around a lot. And put some on top. Yeah, good enough. Okay. Put this over here. We are gonna use the cheap ass eBay tape. Where is it? Cheap ass eBay tape. And I'm going to use a lot of it. I don't care if it's this is sold upon or not eBay.
Oop. Okay. There we go. Pretty sure this is under five pounds. Still. Yes. Four pounds, seven ounces. Good enough. So this needs to be under five for Poshmark. Okay, so this one is this person. Thank you, thank you for your purchase. Okay. Oh, I have a big old box down there. I have some mailboxes down there. Okay, I'll mark this as shipped and go on to the next one. Next one is this little number. It is a Diva Woman's Extra Large Floral Embroidered Blouse. It's like a boho blouse. It's over $16, $3, you know, fees and my discount shipping. So I made $10. Really, I actually made eight after, you know, cost of goods taken out. I don't mind. I thought it was really cute. So, you know. All right, I gotta figure something out. This over. Okay. Need some poly mailers. Didn't seem to have any over here. Okay. Cause you know, I can't be completely ready for these videos. I mean, why? Why would that happen? Okay. So, thank you sticker, which I didn't give him. Oh well. Her. Well, I mean, they're men's boots, but a woman bought them. So she probably bought them for husband, boyfriend, brother, who knows? Father. Bought them for somebody. Okay, so. Okay, who are you? Make this into a little book. one beautiful love it when that happens okay so she shipped who's next this daughters of the liberation now it's funny because daughters of the liberation i think is an old anthropology brand i don't think it's even there anymore but you know it's funny how no one will pick it up anymore but certain pieces Certain pieces are worth it. So this is Daughters of the Liberation women's like mustard yellow corduroy jacket. Some people call it cor some people called it like petite corduroy. Some people called it velvet. What did I call it? Let me go back. I called it needle corduroy two button blazer. It's a size six, so it's small and old anthropology. But guess how much it sold for? It sold for $55. That's it. I had it up there for $75. And, you know, fully expected to take an offer. And then this morning, there was an offer. And it hasn't even been up there that long. So, how long has it been up there? Let's see. Can we figure that out? I don't think so. I don't think I have it on here. Okay, yeah. So, that's okay. I'm going to use this one. I hope they enjoy it. I mean, we're almost in this spring and someone's still buying a corduroy jacket. 55 bucks. So, yeah. It feels like spring. The last couple of days, the sun's been out. It's not been that cold. I mean, it's still cold. Well, it's 50 degrees today. That's actually warmer than it's been. It's been like 45, 44 Fahrenheit. And now it's 50. It feels like short weather almost. <laughs> not quite. Okay, so you are the person that bought this? Yes. Check. Cool. Right, that is shipped. Okay. Next item are these uh, Steve Madden Talon heels. They have like the peep toe in the front. And they have the wood stacked heel, and it's hard to see. I'll be popping up a picture, obviously. And um, so these sold for $28. I was actually quite impressed by that. It was an offer to Liker, so it's the middle fee. 
Um, so after fees and all that, I made $19 and 72 cents. So minus $2. Okay. I'm going to first put them in here. If they'll fit. Maybe they will. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I will not first put them in there, but I will put a little bit of extra around them and I'll put in a box. Oh, I'll use a regional box that, you know, you can use for a pop mark. You can use it for regular priority too. Where does that one, is that it? Okay, whoop, take these shoes out of here. Yes, regional A. So if you haven't already heard, I'm sure you have, but you haven't already heard, USPS has discontinued the, the rate for uh, rate A and rate B boxes. I didn't use them a whole lot. I mean, I use the rate A boxes a lot for shoes and mainly for Poshmark, but now you can use them just as a regular, you know, not a flat rate, just a regular uh, priority. Yeah, a regular priority um, box. So, come on. Fit. Ooh, maybe they won't fit in here. Oh no, they will. I just had to kind of push them in. There we go. And guess what we're gonna use? Cheap ass eBay tape. Because I have a lot of it. Because I ordered it a few times. The $50 worth. There's a little bunch of tape. And then we're moving on to eBay. Uh oh. Okay. Let's see if I can fix this. Nope. Okay. This is basically just in this by itself. Okay. There we go. Um. What was the last item? Oh yeah. I was excited about this. I was hoping it would sell when I picked it up, and it did. For, you know a decent price for the brand it's banana republic extra fine uh <laughs> extra fine instead of extra fine oops extra fine women's uh red merino wool turtleneck sweater size medium it sold for 32 dollars was an offer to likers so discount kind of shipping and all that and after fees and all that, I made $22.92. So really I made a profit of 20 bucks, which is fantastic. I will take it. Okay. And let's make sure I have the right person. Yep. Even if it's the last label, I always check it just in case. Because sometimes Poshmark, if you print in bulk, I print the wrong label for me. Or a label from a canceled order, which I haven't had any recently, but I just think it's a good thing to keep up on. Okay, so now we have three for eBay. I need to mark these both as shipped real quick. Okay. No more for that. Okay, so eBay, we got this one. Okay. Let us see if I will butcher this. Facade. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to get, I'm going to get my uh, computer to say it. Let's see. Oh, I even, oh no. I'm going to say pronunciation. Fuck a knob. Fuck a knob. 
Oh, it's fucking knob. Fucking knob. Fucking knob. Sounds like something else. If you're British, you can probably work that out. Uh, <laughs> so it's fucking knob, according to Google. So we're going to go with it. I don't think it'll fit in this one. I need a bigger eBay one. That's too big. I don't have like an in-betweens. I know I have in-between. Well, you know, I'll just use this one. Okay. This is getting out of hand. Oh, I have to put it into a poly mailer anyway. Oh, you know what? If I bend it over, that sounded wrong. If I bend it, I can get in here and then get into a pad of flat rate. Here's that. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, I didn't tell you the rest of it. It's a woman's extra large black trucker denim jean jacket. It's sold for $32.19. That is with the shipping, of course. The shipping is going to be $8.30. Uh, let me see what I listed this. No, it's the wrong way. I can tell you. Um, so yeah, for uh, seven, $4.97 was the fees. $2.21 were my uh, promoted listing fee. And so after everything, including my cost of goods removed, because now I'm looking at my spreadsheet, it, I made a profit of $23.01. Perfectly fine. If I can make $20 profit on literally everything I, I sell or more, I'm doing good because my, my old, um, I mean, and I still do, if I'm making over $8 profit, I'm usually okay. I'm usually happy, but I kind of want more than that. So yeah, some things I still pick up that don't sell for all that much, but, oh, one day I'll learn to maybe leave those at the bins. Probably not, you know, not a lot of hope for me there. I mean, I have stopped picking up a lot of stuff I used to pick up, so I feel that that's a win. A little extra tape. Get the little eBay branding on there. Even though it's inside too. Whatever. Okay, so let's print out this lady's slip. Sounds a little dodgy, doesn't it? Okay. Um, no, yes. Yes. Print. You can do it. I'm hot. Okay. Okay. Okay, and the next one, and then it's the big pink one. It's this um, vintage Lid Lidana unisex brown patina leather inner pocket zip crossbody bag. I got this bins. So, oh, did I not put it on my spreadsheet? Why would I? Why? Oh, yes, I did. I did. I did. Okay. So it sold for $33.30. That's with shipping, of course. The shipping is going to be $8.30 and $4.17 is my fees, but I'm going to double check my payment tab under all transactions because there is a promoted listing fee. Let me add that because why wouldn't there be? Okay. But you know what? My stuff is getting sold. So. And I am charging for shipping again, so it kind of offsets the promoted, like, yeah, I'll talk about this more. I'll talk about that more later on at the end of the month, towards the end of the month. Uh, yeah. Um, so I made $15.46 after all, everything was said and done. So $3.37 were the promoted fees, four seventeen were the fee fees, the fee fees. <laughs> and, and yeah, like I said, so get her packaged. After we put a little thank you sticker on there. Okay. Well, I don't think I can bend her in half. 
So I need to just have a, I know I have bigger eBay. They're not like huge like these, but they're not like small like these. Cause I don't think this will fit in there now. You said, them, oh, I do, it's up there. Okay, hold on, let me, let me find it. Oh my gosh. Well, these aren't much wider, Never mind. Well. Okay, well, I guess I know what I'm ordering the very next time that I need supplies. Which will be, oh, you know what? Hold please. The last time I did order supplies, I ordered the eBay branded uh, padded mailers. So I'm gonna use this first. I don't know, they won't fit. But I have an idea. Since these are my mailers, so. I can destroy them and make them work for me. So we're going to Franken a mailer. I don't know if this is actually, all right. So I, I put it, I cut off one side and I put it in that way. I'm going to do same way, but to the other side. I've done this with actual po uh, poly mailers as well. And it works out pretty good. You know, if you need to create a custom size mailer, you know, it helps. All right. So we put the other side here. And then we're gonna tape all the way around. So don't worry about that. You can hear somebody going, um, you need to tape that. That could come apart. You're right. So. Here we go. I'm gonna do more than just that though. I just wanted to cut it off. Okay. And then I'll do it across. Ooh, no, no, no. God, I hate when it does that. Okay relatively good or good wow easily relatively easy so it's in here oh we should do one across too and then we'll see how much this weighs because if it doesn't weigh over a pound it does of course it would of course Okay, let's see how much it'll cost the ship. Just without like a mailer. I said one pound 15 ounces. It's not, it's one pound four ounces. Interesting. Okay, so I need to figure it out because I only charge $8.30 for shipping. And, um, yeah, so I'll do another trick. I'm gonna taco it and I'm gonna flatten it out once it's in the mailer. Hopefully this works out. I think it will. There's lots of padding. I hope it's not too tall. Oh, nope. It has, it has, it has space. I need to taco it more. More taco. Oh, no. It's going to be too long. Okay, so I need to figure it out. What? Okay, so I do have these legal, whoop, okay, I 
everything's fine. These legal size um, envelopes. So, can I get that? I think I can. Okay. We're going to do the little tape uh, trick. Okay. So right now I'm trying to basically make it fit. Oops. I'll put some extra tape on that and make it kind of go together. And then I'm gonna put tape up here so you can't really tell that it didn't quite fit, but you know, do what we can. Squish it a little bit. But this works well because it's a white background and it kind of hides the fact that it didn't like completely fit. So this has saved my ass a few times on shipping, like where I didn't like charge enough. Although I, I suggest fitting into something when you are listing it, say, okay, this is where it's going to fit into. This is how much I need to charge for it. So yeah, I think this is going to be fine. I think this is going to be fine. So I did get it in here. Uh, with a, a bit of effort, you can see the top is all, you know, taped and, uh, I did put one around. I probably should put some more around here. Oh my God. Don't make it ugly. I mean, it's not pretty, but you know. It's not pretty. Hopefully they enjoy it. Okay. It is done. So we will hit the legal flat rate. And when you buy it through eBay, $7.90 as of this video. If you're watching this a ways from now, it'll probably be different. So I actually save money because they put in a legal one instead of a padded flat rate. So sometimes these ones will save your bacon a little bit. So purchase, but it has the padding on the inside. So I feel that it's still going to feel to the, the customer like I was protecting it in my opinion. Um, yeah. Okay. Whoop. Cool. Oh yeah. You know what? I do want to kind of reinforce the sides here too. Cause I have received these before where they split a little bit in transit. So this tape, it doesn't have to be hefty tape for this to hold it. It just helps it keep it in place. Okay. And last but not least is this coat. So this is a vintage uh, gallery coat and gallery is sold. I don't know if it's sold exclusively at, um, uh, what do you call it? Nordstrom's, but, or Nordstrom. I don't, there's no S on the end of it. Everyone puts an S on the end of it. Okay. So it is, this is the tag. And it is medium and it is, you know, it has a few, like a few, it has a few flaws. I did call it out in the listing, but it's beautiful. It's vintage and it's wool, total Barbie core. So I take my hair off of it that, you know, left onto it. Um, and we need to use one of these and then a, a big box. Actually, I'm just going to use a big poly mailer. Probably end up going through pirate ship because that can tend to be cheaper. We'll find out. I did charge $14 for shipping. I'm not sure if this will fit into a port, uh, padded, not padded, my God, 
a um, medium flat rate. I mean, maybe I could have folded it better. I don't know. Put your body into it. <laughs> All right, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna put one of these around it. Okay. Okay. A bow. Maybe it will now, because it's kind of flattened. Um, I'll do a thank you. Put in pink, of course. All right. Put it in here. See if it'll fit in here. It might not. Nope. I do have bigger ones, though. I will get the bigger ones. Where are the bigger ones? I have a big gray one. It's a bit overkill. Let's see how much this weighs. Two pounds, 13 ounces, almost 14 ounces. Will that fit? Okay, let's see, just regular, because sometimes the regular is the same rate. Depending on how where it's going. Is this going to New York? It's going to Texas basically like it's going to New York but it's not five pounds it's three pounds so let's see so it's $15 if I just do regular priority it's $15 now let's check pirate ship because sometimes a cubic is better And then you can import from eBay and then the, the number water falls back in. So you don't have to go and update it. Okay, so do need a length though. So it's about 13, 12, 6, 3 pounds. Eleven ninety-seven. We're gonna go with that pirate ship. So I'm gonna put it in here, but I'm going to make this smaller. You know what I mean? With more tape. this little trick. This will make sense in a second. Okay. And I'm just gonna roll this across. And then more tape. I basically put the tape on it like it's a press. Because if any part of it breaks open for any reason, the tape will keep it in there. So if it breaks open like one part of it, hopefully nothing breaks open. But. Okay, I'm gonna make sure before I buy this that it's still the right length. 14. Uh, okay, I need to put 14 by 14. Let's see if that changes it a little bit. Hopefully not. Come on. Oh, it did. Ouch, went to $15. 
And if I go back to eBay, I could put in 1414 six. It's still fifteen dollars and two cents. So pirate ship. Okay, let's see if I can get it to be smaller. Like in size. If I can get it to smaller in like terms of size, then I get cheaper shipping. All right, let's try this again. What are you? I think I could say 13 safely. Yeah, I'm gonna say 13 by 13. I think I can safely say that actually. Let's go back. And just make sure it's still only three pounds. I'm sure, we haven't got out. Yep, two pounds, 15 ounces. So three pounds. Let's see what 13 by 13 gets me. 11.97. We're going with that. Oh, let's see. Oh, no. Switch to UPS for 37 cents. No, but I said it's going to go priority so yeah and she'll get it in three days so yep we're buying that label and it is ready to be received and print and print and print i would have to say print three times why can't it just print print and print And that, my friends, is the very last one. So now I get to put it all in the Hulkin, the medium Hulkin, and go to the post office, go to the gym, go to the grocery store, do all the shit. You know. <sighs> Thanks. Okay, so today is Monday morning. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not Monday morning. It's Monday afternoon. It's 1.26 in the afternoon. So... Um, we have a bunch, a bunch, an F ton of uh, stuff to uh, package because I had 15 sales on eBay over the weekend and then my Poshmark. Because uh, I did ship Friday, but if it came in Friday later afternoon, then I'm including that into the weekend, which there's only a few. So... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 15 plus eight is 23. So we're gonna package up 23 on this video and I'm gonna chain it to the other videos. It's gonna be like two and a half hours long. So I hope you're up for that. Anyway, so um, let's get right in here to it. Okay, so the first thing that, uh, really not the first thing, this is literally the thing sold about a half hour ago. <laughs> Um, I sent out, like, I'm trying to blow out some older inventory, so I sent out 30% offers, um, on my, oh, guess what I'm not using? Okay, let's fix this. Sorry if the, uh, sound was garbage for the first, like, I don't know, 30 seconds of this video. I don't think it will be, but it probably wasn't as good as it is right now. Oh, I totally forgot my iPads. Not iPads. Wow. Air, AirPods. I swear. I just need to call everything the same thing. Everything is an iPad or an iPod. God. Okay. So, more like, honestly, I care to like. Really? More lit on this than I would like to send it out in. So, I, mean, I try not to have anything linty at all, but I mean... This is navy blue, so for the most part, it's it's okay. But I mean, black, black. Oh my god, black is the hardest thing to get lit free. So I just you had to learn to know when to let it go, right? Anyway, so get this 
reasonably lint free before we send it out to its new owner, which I'm happy this John Barbados uh, blazer went. Like I've had it, this one I haven't had for a while. I think I have two. The other one I've had for a hot minute. Like this one I just picked up in December. I sold for $52 on Poshmark. Uh, offer Likers, of course. Did I put on my spreadsheet? Let's see, I did everything else. Uh, yeah, I just did it. So, um, after fees, my cost of goods coming back out and the shipping discount, I made a profit of $37.18. All right. And you know, I do have a reusable lint roller, but guess what it doesn't do well? Pick up the lint. So, I don't use it. Like, I wish those would work, the more eco-friendly ones. I wish they would work better. But they don't. They just don't. They don't work as good as the, you know, the consumable ones. And that's just... Oh. I need to do a little sweater shaving real quick. So, hold on. It's like, well, I don't know why I can't lint roll that off because it's like some minor pilling on the back, which is a little weird, but. I love this sh sweater shaver. This is the Super Lint. I just got it. My other one died. I dropped it too many times. I've dropped this one a few times and it's fine. I, I try not to drop things, but you know, I am clumsy, plus I have days where my hands are numb and, or after, even if they don't start off numb, after I do that for a little while, they become numb, which sucks, so at least the one I'm using does. And then sometimes I just end up dropping whatever I'm holding, so I try not to hold coffee cups in those hands when that's happening. Okay, this is good enough. Okay. <clears throat> So, and I'm not going to hold it up because I will be popping in pictures like I have been this whole video. And by the time you get to this, you'll be like, what are you talking about? You've been doing this this whole time. I know. Okay. Oh, I do still need. Hold on. Let me grab it. Okay. So in in the box by my feet I have some extra of these which I don't need so I can put it in some plastic before I put it in some more plastic and send it off come on that's it there we go hopefully you had a good sale weekend I was impressed. I had like one of the days, like yesterday, over the weekend, was like I made four hundred dollars in sales on just eBay. So that was impressive. Like I don't normally do that much. Like if I do a couple of hundred, that's about you know anywhere from fifty to one hundred fifty is kind of average for me now. But I mean, when I have a four hundred dollars sales day, that's amazing. So I'm so excited about that. I hope that trend keeps going. I put that on my Instagram today. Okay, I know this is over two pounds. Oh, it doesn't matter because guess what, Poshmark? Ha ha ha. Okay, so this bad boy. Um, I don't think I need to put in this kind of big of a flat rate box. But I wonder if we can put it in one of the regional ones. It might fit in there. I mean, I have a bunch of these. I might as well use them. I don't think it will though. Okay. It's a bit too big. Oh, please. Okay. So where is my cheap ass eBay tape? Aha. Cheap ass eBay tape. Okay. This is, okay, this is the easy one now. We'll put this one in the spot, right? Oh! Hi. I need a new chair. This one just randomly will just sink. I don't know why. It'll just randomly sink. 
I mean, I think it's because it's an old chair. I don't need that right now. Um, I will put a thank you sticker on this. Ooh. Get them out. There we go. Thank you for providing this blazer. Okay, so I won't put any extra plastic. We'll just go like that. That's good enough. So this goes to this guy. button hounds tooth jacket and it sold on eBay let me tell you what it sold for it sold for $67.54 but that's with the shipping of course and after shipping fees well I, I count $14 for the shipping so after everything I think I'm gonna make $37.22 but we'll find out if I'm really gonna spend that on the shipping we'll find out this is not linty yay um and it's a hound's tooth like a multicolor hound's tooth jacket like it's brown it has reds and Vintage Ralph Lauren Ralph Lauren men's wool plaid hounds tooth structured blazer size 46R. Okay, is this really gonna cost $14? So let's get the handy old scale out here and let's see. I mean it's gonna be I don't I wouldn't be able to get this in a patty flat rate, I don't think. Not sure I'd want to. He did pay $14 for shipping. So, I mean, there is that. Yeah, because he paid $53, but it was like 70. No, oh, did I not put the right amount? Oh yeah, because overall, yeah, with tax, it was, for him, it, tax it was 73.11, but he paid 67.54, but he paid 53 something, so yeah. Okay, so it's going to go in a medium flat rate, so I will put it here, but I'm going to put it in another, I know, yet another layer of plastic in a poly mailer from eBay. Actually, okay, where you put in there? Okay, now my eBay mailers. Um, oh yeah, but I should see where this is going. Oh, actually, no. I won't be sending it in a medium flat rate um, because it's eleven sixty two for two pounds. But I didn't say how big it was. So eleven by fourteen. 
So 14, 11, 2, yeah, 11.62. All right, so it's going to go in a eBay holly mailer. With a thank you sticker, and it's going that way because it's going to be a lot cheaper. Purchase shipping label. Okay. Okay, so the next thing is these A by Anthropology. They're these gray booties. I got them at the bins a long time ago. They had like a bit of a water stain on them. I tried to get that out and I couldn't. So I think that's why it took them so very long to sell. However, um, where are you? Through Poshmark. Sold for on February the 11th. Oh, actually that was Saturday. Yeah, okay. So I don't think I had anything here from Friday. I think all that went out. So 2, 11, um, I don't know why I was thinking the 11th was Friday. It's not. Um, it's over $26. And I guess at Poshmark, uh, no shipping fee, 520 fees. So I made 1880 after everything, which is fine. Um, so I will put this, not an extra classic actually, I'm gonna put a little thank you sticker on it. This I will actually probably put in one of these um, yeah, it'll fit. So I don't know what I did with my bag of like air pillows and stuff. I mean, I do have tissue. I'll just use tissue at this point. Okay. Okay. So, I'll grab some tissue to kind of put in the bottom of this. Add a little bit of padding. in here. I'll just put a little bit more extra tissue on the top and call it good because it's sold on um, Poshmark. So, oh my god. Okay. Well, we're just going to put some tissue paper on the ground. Just, I can never, it can never just be together. You know? I need to organize my office and put it in a more shipping friendly way. It was for a little while, but then I changed some other things around and then, you know, it is what it is. Oh my God. I have a little pad on my chair because this chair is terrible to sit in for longer than like half hour. So I've got this pad that I got the bins, which is pretty good. Oh, is I my, I'm not really in focus, am I? Who are you? You are that person. All right, cool. Oh, but I'm gonna add some cheap ass eBay tape to this because yeah. Athleta top. I think this sold on eBay. 
Uh, this is Athleta Women's Medium Green Cotton Long Sleeve Hooded Light Pullover Sweater. It sold for $32.06 on eBay. Um, you know, I need to put this over here. Okay, so it sold, um, I don't have the shipping in here, so I need to add that. Then I will tell you how much I made, which I don't think this will cut, I don't think this is even a whole pound, so it should be. I mean, let's take the air out of this. Okay, so twelve ounces, which is basically a pound. Okay, so oh, I did say it's twelve ounces, so it's going to cost me five seventeen. My uh, profit would be negative. Um, so I made seventeen dollars and fifty seven cents in profit after everything. Ship this one. I need to start doing these earlier in the day. I just don't like talking early in the morning. Like I'm waking up, you know what I mean? Like, but I, maybe I can get used to that. I used to do shipping first thing in the morning. And I stopped. And I think that's back when my mail carrier came earlier in the day. It came like at around 11 o'clock in the afternoon. Or not the afternoon. Morning. So, you know, there's that. Okay. So, this is a swimsuit. It's Ardeen or whatever. And it has like a back tie. Very cute. Um... Didn't sell for a whole lot, I don't think. But we'll, I'll tell you in a minute. After I can learn how to... Bathing suits are a pain in the ass to fold sometimes. They really are. <laughs> okay. Okay, got a little plastic thing. This did sell on Friday, late on Friday. Yeah, like at 7.30 in the, in the evening. So, of course, it wouldn't be shipped. Okay, so it sold for $21.73. That is with shipping. One second. Um, the shipping, I don't know yet, but the fees are $2.76. There was no promoted listing fees. Yay. Uh, but now let's go back to shipping it. And we can see. And I will put it in. I'm going to put it, yeah, in this one. Ways. I don't think it's going to be a whole lot, honestly. Yeah, seven ounces. Not a lot. Um, I said eight ounces, which seven and eight ounces are the same. It's not, it's no different in price. I've noticed it was, you know, that it, at certain cutoffs, it's different prices. Um... So $4.44 is shipping. So I made $7 in profit. I got this at the bins along to, oh, I didn't get this at the bins. There's a reason I didn't make that much profit. Um, because my cost of goods was $7.53. This is during that time. I got this back in May. And I was still shopping at thrift stores back then. So I'm recouping. So I did make a profit. I basically little under doubled my money. 
I don't go to thrift stores anymore because it's just too expensive. So yeah, I don't want my cost of goods to be almost $8 per item. So I'm happy with $2 per item or less. Anyway, so that's it. Getting things out. I mean, I have 1,400 and some odd listings on eBay right now. I'll tell you in a second. Come on. Um, back to order. Oh, there's my mail lady. I'm not going to burden her with this because I did not put in a request. So I'm going to take this to the post office myself because it's a lot. So, yeah. All right. Um, all right, yes, over there. And the next one is this tea collection, little kids wear. Um, let's see. Okay, so this sold on Saturday and I don't know about the shipping. So it sold for $15.43, that's what shipping. It didn't sell for very much, that's okay. Just kind of moving it out. Um, let's see. Let's purchase our shipping label. Pretty sure it's gonna be pretty cheap because I mean, it weighs like nothing. But we'll put it in this little mailer. I probably should put Easter. I didn't put Easter in this one and I probably should have. And that probably would have made it, I mean, it's the right time for it to sell for Easter. Seven ounces, make sure. Seven exactly, so I'm gonna make it eight, which I did already, okay. So, it's gonna be $4.44. So I made $4.56, I paid $3.03, but that was the day that I went to the bins and I went to Crossroads, and so um, I, oh no, that day I don't think I went to Crossroads. I think that day the reason why my cost of goods was so high is I got a lot of heavy things. And so I do spread it out across everything. I don't attribute it to, you know, more to one or the other. Um, I just think it's easier that way. So that's what I did. And you know, I made $4.56 profit, but that's okay. I'm getting it out. It's just a little item. So yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, next item is this Torrid Harper cat novelty print. Super cute. I thought my, thought my eyelash was untied. Wow. I thought my shoelace was untied. <laughs> my, my eyelashes get tied. That's going to be a problem, right? Okay, <laughs> moving on. So um, that's not it. No, it's this one. So it's Torrid Harper women's kitty eye cat glasses novelty because it's wearing cats wearing cat eye glasses, which is kind of cute. Sold for $24.10. Um, I don't know what shipping is. So let's do that. And I could tell you how much I made. I mean, not a terrible amount, but oh, I didn't pull one. I need to get that. Okay. So I says it's gonna, I, I says, <laughs> in here it says it's gonna be 447 if it's still eight ounces, which I think it should be. So let's see. Oh, I put it in a poly mailer. That'll probably be better. I'm not gonna ship it in a clear plastic bag, that'd be weird. Yep, seven, 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 so eight ounces. Perfect. So, I made $12.49, which I'm happy with. That I mean, that's a, that's a good um, profit on a Torrid uh, top that I've only had for, I got this in the middle of um, a little about a month. So it's about a month, so not bad. 
Come on. My internet's going a little slow today. I don't know if it's my internet or is it eBay? I'll say it's eBay. No, I'm just kidding. It might be my internet. Sometimes when the shit, the, the shitty's, the shitty's weather, the weather is shitty, that I don't know. It feels like it slows down. I, I don't know if that's true, but you know. Okay, this is heavy. Banana Republic Women's Brown Leather Patina Ashbury Shoulder Bag Hobo Size. One size? Size large? Size large. I, I think I said it was like kind of a large bag. Anyway, so, but I did give measurements, so they, they should understand what they're going to be getting, right? Um, so I don't know how the shipping is going to go, but it sold for $57.46, but it's with shipping. Um, so I need to put this in something else. Probably an eBay bigger eBay one. Okay. Ugh. That needs to go in my garbage. Okay. <clears throat> and then I'll just put it in a Heavy flat rate because I'm pretty sure it's going to cost that. Well, we'll see. It's heavy. Okay. So I said it's going to be three pounds. Yeah, because regular priority mail to this person. Because going to Massachusetts, it's going to be like a hot $18. Thanks. I will just do the 14 that they already paid. Because most things that I sell will fit into a uh, medium that are heavy, that fit into a medium flat rate box. And if you haven't already checked it out, check out my previous video. Oh yeah, it just fits in there. Um, about my shipping strategy and how I do my own shipping. Um, I think I take a kind of a different approach than most people do, or maybe not most people, but other people do. I do not um, advocate for calculated shipping because I know it overcharges people. It, it overcharges me. If I buy something from somebody in New York and it will overcharge me for like a pair of jeans, it'll cost like $17. And it's like, if someone uses calculated, they're going to, you're going to lose that sale. I'm not going to buy those jeans. Cause I'm not going to be guaranteed that you're going to send in a padded flat rate and reimburse me for half of that shipping. No. And uh, so, yeah, so if you're using calculated shipping. Um, you might be shooting yourself in the foot or a market that might be farther away from you. If you're on the East coast, you do not want to exclude the West coast. We have money and we like to spend it. So, <laughs> um, like California and uh, Washington and Oregon, like it'll just be too expensive for us to buy something. So I'll buy it from somebody else that's just basically not using that method. Um, I use a, basically a flat rate shipping method. And so yeah, check out my video. I'm not gonna give it all away, but I do give a good example um, in that. This is, this is not that person. Okay, so yes, we're gonna be sending it in this and it won't matter for the poundage because we're going to go flat rate. So thank you for your purchase, whoever bought this. Hopefully you enjoy it. Okay. Ooh, that's heavy. I think it's more than three pounds. I think it's like five pounds. Okay. So let's see what's the next item. Okay, this is a unisex sling bag, and it sold for not a whole lot, $15 with, I think, $8 in shipping. Let's see. Was it? Yeah. So I think this might have been over a pound. Well, we'll see. Um, I'm going to put this in this poly mailer. Come on. Well, it might not fit in this one. Oh, 
dog. at least a tagged one that I got for eBay. I should probably just put it, should just put it right in that. Oh well. And then it's probably gonna be two pounds, <laughs> over a pound now, isn't it? Let's see, maybe not. comes up it doesn't like to stay up oh, I'm taking a chance it's literally one pound and like 0 0.3 I took a chance last time and it didn't bite me in the ass so I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna do one pound zero ounces I've heard they sometimes give you like an ounce kind of leeway so it's gonna be 13 12 1 Oh, but that's more expensive anyway. Oh, because it's putting it priority. Oh, because that's what they pay for. So I do have to send it priority. Of course I do. What? I, of course I would. I'm being dumb. Okay. Wow. I'll well, just put a bag and a bag and another bag. Call it a day. I mean, it's padded. Oh, well. Some days are just like that, right? Where it's like, you just, yeah. Okay. Some days are just like that. And we'll do some ugly eBay tape. Well, it's not really ugly, but thin ass eBay tape. <laughs> Which I'm happy to have. Because I don't have to pay real money for um, eBay tape, for non eBay tape. So we're gonna do a padded flat rate. It's exactly what they paid. I'll call it a day. is a Sundance dress back to orders um it's Sundance women's mixed print v-neck 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 asymmetrical line silk maxi dress size medium silk on the outside but polyester lining um so it sold for um $37.99 um shipping I gotta figure that out I do now and it's sold in a sale that I'm running so okay. how much do you weigh 10 ounces so let's purchase this paid first class and on my uh, first class profile I do have it so they can upgrade the shipping and pay for upgraded shipping for expedited um which I actually need to update that the only yeah I don't even like because see I've done the calculated one for net, overnight shipping and it charged them d almost double so instead of charging them the fifty dollars it actually costs they it charged them a hundred and like ten dollars for shipping alone. So yeah, forgot about that. I didn't mention that in my video, but yeah, it's, it's crazy how much it'll charge you. Cause that was going to New York. 
So, yeah. I refunded the guy. And I actually, it was during the time where eBay did not, re, if you did a partial refund, it didn't actually give you back part of the fees. So I actually ate like $10 in fees off of that extra bit of charge, which I was kind of like, that sucks. But yeah, now I know that I cannot use calculated for anything really, because it's just going to lie to the customer. Well, I mean, now eBay fixed it so you can do a partial refund, but it's just a lot of work and I'd rather not have to deal with that. So I don't want to have to refund almost everyone that buys from me because a lot of people buy from me from the East Coast. A lot of people from the East Coast. So like New York, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and Texas and Florida. I ship a lot too. Well, I mean, California too, but that's my coast. So, you know, to the opposite side of the country, there's a lot of them. So... Uh, four dollars and forty-seven cents. Yay! So let me update my spreadsheet for seventy-four. I think I said four forty-seven, four seventy-four. And so I made twenty-three dollars and thirty-two cents, which is fine. I literally just posted this on the seventh, and it sold um really fast. I'm happy to make a twenty-dollar flip. I'm sure other people can sell this for much more, and that's fine. Um, I had it up there like for 60 and no one was biting, but you know, I had, a, I was running a sale and someone's like, I think someone offered me a little bit less and I was like, you know what, I'm going to take it. And that's kind of the philosophy I'm adopting. I'm just most offers I'm taking some of them. I'm not, but most offers I am. So, and it was just, cause some of them were just too low. I'm like, no, I couldn't let myself take some of the low, low offers I got over the weekend and they didn't buy it of course, you know, and that's fine. But there was one that somebody else did buy. I can't remember which one or it's I tell you, but you know. Okay. Put this on there. I don't know why I'm looking for her. I'm not trying to beat her. Okay, so these are a pair of high rise mom jean drew jeans let by Lucky Brand. I got I did get these at uh crossroads so i did pay up for them however like i said i cross average so let, let me see what i made so my cost of goods was 570 because of that however i know shipping is going to be 830 and after fees like fees were 707 uh, promoted was 320 so i made 34 dollars and three cents in profit so i'm very happy about that so thank you sticker and does this fit in here? Let's see. I think it will. Yep. I'm going to put in a pad flat rate because I think this is going probably to the other side of the country. Most are. This one's going to, oh. This one's going to Washington. That's my state. All right, so guess what I'm gonna do? I'm still sending it priority, but priority in this because priority in my state is $7.80. So I'm saving a little bit of money and that is fine. So I don't have to do the padded flat rate. Although 760 is cheaper. So I'm gonna save my 20 cents and put it in here. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I did that already. All right. I meant to, I meant to like fold it, but you know, that's not what happened. So I will put it in the, uh, this, uh, envelope because it's going to be 20 cents cheaper. So I'll do that. And we all want to save money. Okay, so. And purchase. But I need to update this. Okay. So I made a profit of $34.73 instead. And print. 
I really hope some of you really like these long videos. Because <laughs> I think this is how I'm going to do uh, the ship with me, work with me ones going forward. I am going to probably do, eventually do some different kind. Oh my God. Oh, I just stuck it to itself. Okay. Okay. As long as the... The barcode doesn't get damaged. I don't care. Okay. That's done. Back to orders. Let's see what we got. Okay. This is, I know this is Torrid. Where did she sell? She sold on Poshmark. Okay. So she sold for $30 and it's new with tag. So it's Torrid Women's 0X. 0X is a hard, is kind of a hard sale. So, um, let me find it on my spreadsheet. Okay, you know why? I know why I'm having a hard time seeing this. I have this at 75%. Okay, yeah, let's have this at 100% so it's not so small. Here it is. It's Torrid Women's Zero Eyes Black Tie-Dye Mini French Terry Off-Shoulder The T-Shirt Dress. And that is their description. Um, it, um, let me highlight the whole row. So it, um, so for $30, there was no shipping discount. So $6, you know, and after fees and everything, I made $22.26. So I'm really happy about that, especially for Zero X. Cause that's, that's a small, smaller size. And, um, zero, it's about a large, you know, I think that's what they equate it to anyway. So we'll put this in here. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should have my supplies over here and ship from the middle. Because then you can actually see it better. And if I... Aha. Okay. Bring my trash closer. All right. So, this one is... Who are you? Oh, this person. Right at the bottom. Whoop. Cool. Love that these are perforated. So we'll mark her as shit. And I have a three piece bundle in here. So I know this is part of that bundle. This is part of that bundle. And this is part of that bundle. So let's ship that bundle next. Okay, so we have Eddie Bauer men's large relax fit. Um, button down shirt. Then we have a vintage Northwest Territory men's uh, large button down shirt. And then Levi's 501, they shrunk because they weren't pre-shrunk. So they were 32, 34 originally, but I have asterisks next to the size. They're really a different size, but it, I, I say C measurements. So in, in, in parentheses, right after in my title, I say C measurements. So that draws you to look at the measurement saying, hey, it doesn't actually measure what it used to. So, yeah. Anyway, so all together, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how much the bundle sold for $55 for those three pieces. Um, there's $11 in fees. So I made a net earning of $44. Um, and honestly, all the stuff was like, let's say it's $2 each. So I made a $38 profit off of these three items which I'm totally happy for, you know? So we're going to do a thank you, a thank you, and a thank you. Okay. And, yeah. I'm probably just going to put these in a medium flat roof box. bigger poly dealers right now. I need to buy more. Okay. I think this is fine to just ship like this. Let's 
some thank you stickers and go like that. heavy how heavy are you don't be over five pounds nope you're still under four all right so who are you let's see nope not that person no not this person cool and honestly if i'm making a profit I'm happy. Oof, got a lot of mail behind me. We'll have to take a picture of that before I put it all in the whole can. Uh, I'll have to flip all of them over. Well, I'll just, you know, blur out the addresses. Okay, so um, maybe I'll stack it in front of my door and put it on Instagram. People hate that. I think it's hilarious. I do think it's fucking hilarious that people get so, like, emotional about people posting their sales. I mean, I'm, I'm not like, I don't do that. Like, I mean, I, I don't get mad at people for listing their sale or for showing their sales. I mean, that's fine. I don't care how much money you made. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect my business. <laughs> I know how much money I'm making. You know what I mean? It's, it's weird. Anyway, moving along. So this is a Forever 21 3X, but 3X, you know, in Forever 21, it's Forever 21 plus. I got this at the bins. Um, I actually wore it for a little while. Anyway, I took it to England with me. I've worn it a couple times. I decided, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it for sale. And so I bought it for $15. So I'm I'm okay with that. I didn't mark that other thing as sold as shipped. So here it is. Mark you as shipped. Okay, so um, and it fits like a 2X, and I did put that in there because I mean Forever 21 runs small because it's it's not actually junior sizing. I, I people say it's junior sizing. It's not. Not really. Um, it just they. It just runs small. It's just the way it is. So like, but I can fit some of their two X stuff. So I don't know. It. it but I'm because I'm between one and two X. So I guess it does run small. I'm between one and two X and, and a lot of other brands. But in that brand, I'm two to three X. So, but hopefully that'll change because I've been doing pretty good on the keto been doing keto and I haven't really talked about that much because last time I did keto I did not do well <laughs> but this time I don't even want carbs it's fine it's really interesting and it's like I think last time I wasn't eating enough fat I was scared that if I ate too much fat that it, it would backfire nope I just wasn't eating enough fat so now I have my fitness pal so I have the premium memberships so I pay yearly for it so I can track my food and I can track my you know nutrients and stuff like that so I can track Am I eating 70% fat? And I am. So, so I do 70% fat, um, like 10% carbs, a 20% protein, and I have been losing weight. So it's great. I've lost like six pounds so far, I think. Yeah, when I checked last. But that's pretty. That's pretty exciting because it's. I don't know why. I think it's to do with my inflama uh, inflammatory arthritis. And I think that's why it's hard for me because I'm not like insulin resistant or anything like that. Like I'm not pre-diabetic, none of that. I don't have high, high blood pressure. I have no other problems. My only issue is my infl infl inflammatory arthritis. And it's an autoimmune disorder, but it does make it harder for me to lose weight. And it makes it harder for me to exercise and also lose weight. So I was doing some reading and... Um, there was a surgeon, it was a couple of papers I read, but one of them was from a surgeon. Um, I want to say, was he a heart surgeon? I can't remember. I'll have to find it again. But anyway, talking about how the ketogenic diet can make it, uh, the pain better for people to have um, inflammatory arthritis autoimmune disorders. And that's me. So my, my pain has been less and I've only been on it for like about a month. No, not even a month yet. So... Um, I think I'm doing pretty good. So maybe three weeks, maybe it's been a month. I don't know. I have to look, I have to look anyway. So yeah, it's, I'm doing well and my, we have carbs in the house. My husband has carbs and I don't, <laughs> so it works out. I just have a lot of, um, cauliflower, rice cauliflower. So when we have dishes that will have like rice in it and we largely don't 
cook with a lot of things that have actual sugar in it. We have always been actually pretty good about that because of sugar is a, um, what do you call it? Exacerbator. Exacerbator? Exacerbates. Yeah. It exacerbates. Am I saying that right? Jesus. Okay, let's go for Google again. Exacerbates. Exacerbates. That exas exacerbates. There we go. That I got it. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I tell you, words sometimes just don't sound right to me. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but that happens to me. Um, okay, so let's get this labeled and we can move on. Uh, here we go. And I know it's because of however my brain works. That's why. But I need to get tested for, but from reading, I've uh, learned that it's hard to get tested for any kind of thing like that. So I, I need to like look into that more. Anyway, so I mean, this sold for $15 and I made $12 profit. Well, $10 profit after uh, COG, which is great. So I'm happy with that. Oh, did I mark that sold? No, I marked, did I mark it sold? No, did I mark it shipped? No, here we go. I am all over the place. I did not sleep well last night. Went to bed, I think it closed to midnight and uh, we were watching The Office. Okay, but in my defense, we watched the last of his dark materials. Okay, I do not like the ending to that. I won't spoil it for anybody but I did not like the ending. And Colin read the books, so he knew I wouldn't like the ending because he knows how I feel about that. Okay, so this is So uh, Cold Women's Medium Yoga Sports Bra. Okay, so this, I don't know if it was an extra one or I, it must have been extra. Um, Cause I bought this in a lot that was supposed to be all Victoria's Secret bras, but this was in there and this is not Victoria's Secret, so. I didn't count to see how many I got. It was supposed to be like, I don't know, 12. So this may have been like the 13th one. I don't know. So I did not mark this. I'm marking this as zero cost of goods. Because I'm pretty sure it was extra. Because it is not. You cannot mix, mistake that. And the person I bought from is trustworthy. So, and you know, I consider her a friend. So I'm pretty sure she probably just put in there extra. Even if she made a mistake. That's why I'm not saying it. Um, even if she made a mistake. It's not a big deal. Like, I made my money back from everything I bought from her. So, it's perfectly fine. Anyway. So, um, if this sold for $10. That's why I marked it as zero cost of goods. I'll just... I'm pretty sure I got... I'm pretty sure I got 13 or whatever. So, $2.95, $2.68 because it's the big discount. Uh, so, I made $4.37. And, you know, it sold. So, it's going somewhere. So, that's good. Um, who bought it? Oh, you, you did. Yeah, you're right on top. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so and anyway, even if I even if it was a mistake and it was one of them, I I only lost a couple like a dollar on it. So, I'm not worried about it. I made plenty of profit on everything else. So, I hardly ever lose money on anything or even break even. So when I, when that happens, sometimes I don't really worry about it because it doesn't happen very often at all. Anyway, so this is shipped. I'm just glad it's going to a new house out of my inventory. And uh, yeah, so that shipped, that's not yet. So what do we have left? Okay, so this is, oh, this is the origin gene. So if you haven't seen, um, it wasn't my, oh, it was, it was the one I did with, uh, Matt, uh, King, uh, why so thrifty, um, down in California. So these sold, I had them up there for, I originally posted them for 50, realized that was a mistake because I started getting some like $30 offers. And then I delisted, or I actually just upped the price to 75. And then some, that, that there was a guy that kept trying to send me lower offers. I'm like, the median is like 66. So I could have held out, but I, I decided not to. Um, if I find him again, maybe I will. But I, 
I, you know, I'm happy with the flat, fast, the flash flip, the fast flip. So I'm going with the fast flip. Um, so another person offered me 50. I thought it was the same guy. I was going to sell it to him. I was like, fine, you know, 50. Um, but he didn't. And somebody else just offered me 50. I'm like, you know what? Sold. So he paid shipping as well. So let's go back. So the shipping will definitely be $8.30. Well, let's put a little thank you sticker on here. Let's thank this person for buying it. And then we're just gonna stick it right into a pad of flat rate. No frills. It'll get in there. There we go. Sometimes it creates a vacuum and it's hard to move, but then he puts Remove the vacuum and then it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna use some new tape. Okay, and we are gonna print this. And then I'll tell you how much I made because I haven't done that yet. So, power flat rate. I mean, these are some substantial jeans. I hope, like whenever I find jeans that are really thick, I always look them up, always, because they're often something good. Because so few uh, designers and, you know, I'm, I'm, and I'm not talking about like designer, like, like uh, Yves Saint Laurent or something like that. No, I'm talking about just, they're all designers. They're not all designer, but they're all designers. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's find this. Where are you on here? Huh. Oh, here it is. I was like, is it not on here? Okay, so Origin Maine, made in Maine, Maine USA. Or Origin, made in Maine USA, that's why I put it. It's, it's Origin Maine, I think. Um, men's size 3429. Now they were like 34 and a different like inseam, but I put the, the, the one I measured it as in the title. Um, but I do put the measurements and then I usually put a blurb in there saying that. So, um, medium blue wash, legit fit. Uh, oh no, it didn't have a time. So I have no idea what the original inseam was. Never mind. So it may have been like 30. It may be even like a 32, 30 and it shrunk a little bit. They normally shrink a little bit. Anyway, they sold for $58.49. So after fees and it was promoted listing, I made a profit of $36.98. Literally took one, it sold the same day I listed it. So I'm happy to make a $36 profit. Other people may hold out for like a $50 profit and that's fine. If that's you, cool. I'm not. So it's cool. Like I think going to a, a lower profit model, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but I think that's going to make me more sales over time. Um, I running a sale, like a 30% off sale for some of my items. Some of them are up there only for five, uh, five percent. So I'm kind of doing a, a different kind of thing, like where I'm, kind of putting some older inventory on a bigger discount and some newer inventory still at a discount, but a smaller discount. And as things age, I will put them at a bigger discount. So that way they move. So, um, I, I like that I moved so much out of my inventory this weekend and hopefully I can start making that an everyday thing. Um, eventually I have been a little bit behind on my listing, so I need to catch up on that. But um, and now I'm doing things completely different. I'm no longer using the VA. And um, because I decided I'm no longer going to use any cross-listing softwares at all. I'm only po doing Poshmark and eBay now. That's it. And I just think it's easier to simplify it that way for myself right now. So now I'm working on my new process and what I need to do for that. And I think it's actually going to work out better. Um, eBay's form is a lot easier than it used to be. And I know I can make templates. So I'm going to start making some templates and then I'll make a video about that anyway. So that'll be the future somewhere far in the future. I don't know. Maybe not so distantly. I need to look into that like soon anyway. So 
we need to go to the next item to ship. Okay, we only have a few more left. So this is, oh, this is a navy blue one. Um, this one, make sure the number's right, yeah, six or seven. Um, Gap Women's Extra Small Blue 100% Linen Long Sleeve Button Up Shirt. It only sold for $12 plus shipping, which is fine. Um, so I made, because it's Gap, but it's linen, so I wanted to save it. Um, I still made, a, oh, I have no idea what profit I made. Not that much. Not that good of a profit. Maybe. Okay, let's see. My lady's right outside. <laughs> And I have a big bay window. And she's gone. Okay. So, yeah. Um, okay, so it's seven ounces. Well, 6.9, so I'm going to round it to seven. Cross fingers. That's not going to be that expensive. So I said eight, but I'm going to do seven. Um, 11, 10, 2, $4.20. So... I made $7.78, which is fine. Um, it's an extra small. If it was a larger size, I probably could have got more for it. But it's an extra small, so I just let it go. Send it off to its new owner. I'm happy with that. Profit is profit. And I don't know how it works. I'm not even sure if it's really a real thing. But people always say sales to get other sales. I don't know if that's true or not, but it might be. I don't know. Since I don't understand, no one understands eBay's algorithm. I don't know if they do. But, okay, so this one I know is on Poshmark. Love Ellie Stitch Fix Mia uh, Black Detail Pullover Coral Women's Extra Extra Large Sweater. This is new with tags, I believe. Was it new with tags? No, maybe this one wasn't new with tags. I think the other one was and it did sell for more so that's good wow this is already an hour and 20 minutes i'm gonna edit this though okay so um yes so it sold for 18 dollars shipping and a discount shipping discount and fees so i made 12 dollars 68 cents but after like just removed two dollars so it's just easier than to try to read the tiny words on my spreadsheet okay I don't know why I'm getting all the air out of this. This one doesn't matter. Because it's Poshmark. And then we'll be making our way to the post office and come back and post my ass off. Because I have not been that productive today. Okay, so who are you? Are that person okay okay and shit the next item is oh i was excited can you tell what this is this was recently in a haul video in that same haul video and thank you my lovely friend Kristen, for sending it my way because it sold pretty fast anyway so this sold on ebay i want to see poshmark it sold on ebay so let's find it my little spreadsheet because it does have the breakdown here so it's a tellbox women's large metallic silver down puffer vest i posted it on 210 yes and it sold on 212 so, uh, so yesterday, anyway, so, um, it sold for $48.51, but I did not put in the thing. Oh, it's not one ounce. There's no way it's one ounce. Okay. But I, it's going to go first class. I know that. Oh, oh the whole side of this broke. Okay. All right. So let's fix that. Well, that's funny it just blew out i hate these ones i would be so happy when these ones are over and i won't be getting these ones again these are the ones that aren't the uh ziploc they're just the you peel off the little thing and they're supposed to re reseal they really don't though okay there we go 
Okay, good enough. Pretty sure I'll be able to get this thing into just a solid mirror because it's so very light. So I get the air out of it so it fits. I didn't put the thank you sticker on there, I don't think. I'll put it on the outside. Okay, so you weigh one pound. So six dollars and seventy eight cents. So I made twenty nine dollars and seventy eight cents on this piece. That's my profit. Twenty nine dollars. Twenty nine dollars and seventy eight cents for Talbots. For those of you who don't like to pick up Talbots, some of it is worth picking up. Especially if you're picking up pieces that are going to be trendy. Like, metallics are trending. Pick them up. Anyway. Let's print this. I'm excited that sold so fast. Oh, no! No! <sighs> That's me running out of paper. Hold. Yeah, that's better. And no extra ones. I do hate that about Dymo, is it will just print extra ones sometimes. But, oh well. Okay. Two to go. How is there two to go and I still have one over here? Did I not pull one? So, okay. Those are the other two. <sighs> okay. I feel like that Aritzia one's gonna re return. I feel like it, it's going to be. I don't know. But we'll find out. And that's going to someone else in my state, which I'm glad I don't use my private address anymore as my shipping address. And I do have a virtual mailbox at, at Staples. So I am glad about that. Okay, so this is the last one for eBay. This one was Air Pastel. Um, they were women's of 14, juniors 13. I put both on there because both sizes were on there. And that is a typical thing that happens. Um, I had somebody open a case once because of that. It was in my title. It was in my description. It was in the pictures. And they're like, this is a size 13, 14. You misrepresented this. And this is very different than a size 14. It was a vintage dress. So I did put measurements in there. But, um, oh no, it wasn't even a measure. It wasn't a vintage dress. That was a different one. It wasn't vintage. Sorry. So, but their measurements were still in there. <laughs> And I won that case because she's like, nowhere in there did you say this? And I'm like, it was in the description, it was in the title, and it was in the pictures. I won. Yeah. So she ended up, they actually refunded her too, but I still kept the money because all the things were there. And I think Posh, it was on Poshmark, obviously. So I think Poshmark was trying to save, you know, people anyway so this one um they're flare jeans um they're distressed so over 17 dollars with a discounted shipping because it was an offer so i made 10 dollars and 92 cents so i made like eight dollars and 92 cents which is fine okay this one okay we'll just do this one this one next which i don't know this is bulky this is gonna be this is gonna be bulky so let's see this is wilfred free and this is a very like nice i thought this was gonna do better than it did you know it just didn't do as well as i thought it would maybe it's because it's not the right i don't know i don't know what it isn't the right of but it's a very nice neutral i probably didn't use the right keywords or something yeah, that's probably it but she is the one that was in my instagram recently oh this is going to washington so it probably won't be expensive to ship i will be putting it just a big um I will put it in this first, 
And then I will put it in a big poly. It says eBay on it. Let me get that as well. Okay. So I just, I just, I feel it in my bones. She's going to be an issue because she didn't like, because she, okay. She sent me a message. She didn't send me an offer. Why? Oh, I accidentally did have offers on this. That's why. And she's like, uh, will you accept 30 with shipping? And I'm like, okay. She goes, do you do combined shipping? I'm like, yeah, I do. And she, so she's like, uh, cool. I got a couple other things that I want out of your closet or out of your store. Cool. That was all fine and good. And then she was like, on the next item, what's the, what's the, 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 um, the least you will take for this? I don't do that. I, I'm not going to negotiate myself down. You have to negotiate. You did it on this one. So why wouldn't she do it on the other one? Don't know. So just because you bought one thing, she bought one thing for me, doesn't mean I'm going to give everything else as my cheap, my cheapest rate. It was already on, it was already 30% off. Like what more do you want? Just offer me a number and I accept it. I'll accept it. If I don't, I don't, you know, that's the way that works. But you know, some people are just really kind of unreasonable about that. And her response was very rude. So She's like, I don't know. Cause I, I basically respond with, that's not how negotiations work. I will, I, I set the price and then you offer me a different one. That's all I said. I wasn't rude. It wasn't passive aggressive. Um, I don't think it's rude or passive aggressive anyway. Um, cause it's just factual. It's just informational. You know, that's, this is how negotiations work. And she's like, I don't know what you mean by that, but there's two other things I, I liked in your, your store, but you know, I, I'll just take the, I'll just take the sweater. And she hadn't paid for it yet, right? So I wasn't sure she was going to pay for it at all. So I was like, that works. That's all I sent back. Put your money where your mouth is. She bought the sweater. Cool. I'm happy with that. Um, so let's go. Okay, so it's Aritzia Wilfred Free Women's Medium Cable Knit Open Chunky Knit Cardigan. I really thought this would do better. Anyway, I've had this since, I had since the beginning, the, the middle of December. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the timing was off. Anyway, so it sold for $38 and 30 cents. Um, let's see how much it's going to cost to actually ship it to her. And this is why I'm also glad that I don't use my real address. Like I said, it's going to cost $7 and 53 cents for regular priority. That's what I'm going to go with. So we're going to do $7.50. 53 sorry so and it wasn't promoted yay um so i made 23 dollars and 82 cents i'm happy with that let's go with that oh yeah we're gonna take some measurements here so 11 by 12 by 11 so cool 12 11 and like eight yeah 753 purchase and she returns it, guess what she won't be getting back? Her original shipping. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. I'm like, you know exactly what I mean by that. <laughs> you know how to negotiate on the other one, you just didn't negotiate on that. Oh well. That's okay. Anyway, so. This is another one for eBay, but it's a really light one. I know it's Victoria's Secret. Uh, women's large uh, black baby doll ruffle lingerie top. Did not do a whole lot. Not all of them do though. Sold for $14, but that's not including the shipping. So let's find it over here. Here it is, Victoria's Secret. Okay, uh, it sold for $19.99, but I don't know how much shipping is. So then I can tell you how much I made. Okay, I said it's gonna be 10 ounces. Let's see, I bet you it is. Yep, actually, it's not even 10, it's seven. So I'm gonna make it eight and it'll be even cheaper. So 
sale of four dollars and forty four cents. Yay! Because I was gonna make five thirty three. So I made I made ten dollars and seven cents. So that was profit, which is fine. Um, purchase. And I think I'll be done just in time for um, them to pick it up at 3.30. I mean, not from here, obviously. I'll have to go to the post office. Uh, the last one is also on eBay. This is a little bit lighter, so I don't know if it will cost exactly what I charge for shipping, but we'll find out. Um, this is... Oh, come on. Back. Vintage Cherry, Cherry, Terry Lewis, classic luxuries, women, green colored suede, um, wool jacket. So the paneling is wool, but then this is suede. Um, so it sold for, let's find down here. Vintage, there we, no, it's not for selling territories. Oh, did I not? Oh, here it is. Um, so $79.39. Where are you going? Are you international? Nope. Going to South Dakota, Bridgewater, South Dakota. Okay. So it's probably super cold over there right now, but this is a beautiful coat. So I think someone's going to really enjoy it. fluffs on it make sure they're off okay so can I fold this in such a way then get into a smaller thing maybe okay I think I can okay Gotta kind of hold it. Oh my god, this is hard to do one-handed. You're trying to hold it from becoming bigger. Okay. Come on, go on. Now the poly bags are not that strong, so they're easy to rip. So I try not to like put too much strain on them. I'm just putting this in here so I can put it into a padded flat rate. Right? Oh, I don't know if it'll, it's created a vacuum. Oh, it's doing it. The things we do to save a little bit of money. Ha ha. Ha, ah, it is in there. <laughs> A little mangled, but it is in there. It's okay. This is not the shipping container. It's going in. So it's going in this, which will make it easier to get in there. Okay, just like these aren't that strong either. Oh. Oof. This would be so much easier if I had more strength in my hands than I do. That's the bad thing about having any kind of arthritis is that you do lose strength in your hands, which sucks. And these are pretty strong hands. It didn't hurt every time I tried to use them. Not every time, but you know what I mean. Okay, it did get in there. Okay. I mean, I have space down there. I'm trying to get to the bottom. Okay. Yeah, it's at the bottom. Good enough. Oh my God, get off of me. All right. 
So we're just gonna add some tape for a little extra added security. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this long, long video. And uh, so if you liked it, if you got any value, entertainment, anything out of it, please give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment um, in the comment section because both of those free things that you can do really will help me in the algorithm, will help other people find me. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.